Hi, and welcome to Now You Grow. My name is Blake, and I am standing in front of these two giant wash tubs full of water because today I'm going to be disinfecting a bunch of pots and getting them ready for succulent seeds to be planted in. Um, I've got two tubs full of water. One is hot with soap that I've added, dish soap. Just some palm oil. You can use Dawn. Dawn's probably the best thing to use just because it's safe enough to clean animals. It'll be safe enough to clean things for plants. And then I've got a tub full of cold water. Now the cold water I just filled up with our garden hose. It was early in the morning, so it's not gonna be hot pouring out of there. And then I filled this one up in my bathtub. I recommend that you have a hand truck or a dolly or get ingenuitive to, with a skateboard or something because whenever you fill these guys up, they're gonna be really heavy. It can be hard on your back lifting it up and trying to get it outside. Um, another thing I'm doing to keep it hot is I've got this little, it's almost like a hot plate for a tea pitcher. And as it cools, I'm adding the hot water that has been boiling into the mix to warm it back up. And just as well, I'm going to treat myself with a little bit of this hot water and have some ginger green tea ready for me as a treat while I'm doing this because I had a really heavy breakfast and ginger green tea is great to help with digestion and let's go over the steps that I'm going through to clean these guys off first thing I did was I rinsed all the extra grit out of these pots so that it won't have debris floating around in my soapy water that could possibly transfer into the other water or remain on the pots. And as they soaked, I pulled all these stickers off because you can still get debris and stuff trapped on those stickers. And even though it's probably not that big of a deal, I just like to be thorough whenever I'm cleaning. And of course we agitated the soap and got it nice and bubbly before we started soaking these guys. Whenever you're cleaning, I've got a wash, la wash rag, you can use a sponge or um, whatever. These are all plastic pots. Uh, this isn't a demo for terracotta or anything else, but it would be good for glazed pots and plastic pots. All the same, this process. Terracotta pots, they can absorb uh, they can absorb minerals and deposits from the soil and plant. So there's a couple of extra things you want to do for that. I'll, I'll cover that in another video. But whenever you're washing, be sure that you're thorough. I'm um, being as thorough as I can with one hand. And you want to wash every little nook and cranny in there. In between the holes on the other side, make sure you get that nice and agitated. And around on the edges, on the bottom, and on the rim. And then once you've got it all nice and clean, we're going to put it into the cold water. Because cold water helps to separate the soap from the surface of the plastic. And after you feel like you've gotten all that off, and it doesn't feel slippery to the touch anymore, go ahead and put it on a surface that allows air to pass through to dry. You don't want to stack these guys right away because you'll trap moisture in between them and possibly let bacteria or fungus or pests uh, make that their new home. Mosquitoes are really bad about pots that have the little rims on the edges. They just, uh, I don't have any pots like that out right now, but if there's any surface that gathers water, mosquitoes can lay their larvae in there. And it's just, you know, it's good to find a good place for them to dry out. You might be tempted to put them out in the sun, but the sun can degrade the plastic over time. So I've got them in the shade in a place where uh, the wind isn't going to be too strong and blow them away. And I'm going to be doing this for a while today. Here we've got five trays that I have saved from garden center purchases and a pile of all kinds of pots mixed up with some soil over there. But yeah, um, I'm not going to film the whole process. Just wanted to share a couple of easy steps on how to disinfect plastic or glazed pots and I hope that you learned something today. Uh, I'm about to enjoy some of that tea and then I'm going to really get to work and start pumping out a few other videos. 
Uh, upcoming videos will be some of my processes with the succulent seeds and how I mix soil for them and some different approaches I'm going to be uh, taking to trying to grow them. I'm going to be trying several different techniques that I've learned online, so we'll see how that all turns out. But I hope you all have a great day, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.